Hello everyone, and this is Dr. Powell. I'm here to talk to you today about week five, assignment three, your final business plan, the final portion. And as you can see here, um, what you're gonna be doing is completing the following sections of your business plan, your resources, your operations and management, and your executive summary. Once you do this, your whole template should be completed, okay? Every header should have a summary um, and every section should be complete. So that being said, let's go ahead and move down to the resources. Um, you have the operations and management section that you also need to complete. You have the executive summary, but this should be the last thing that you complete. And the reason for that is because you're about to put in some very valuable information and your executive summary should at least, should be at least a page and a half to two pages long. Okay, double spaced, Times New Roman, first, uh, first line indent, um, and very well stated. And what this serves as is tell your readers what they're gonna read throughout your business plan. Provide some of the research that you've done. Um, include this in your executive summary. Include some of your, your financials in here. What will they see, okay? Put some of your goals and your, your objectives in here. Put your marketing strategies. You have a lot of information that you can fill this particular um, summary. Again, it needs to be a minimum of a page and a half, um, but should be at least two pages, okay? So that being said, let's move down to the resources. The resource section you completed in week three, okay? Here's the resources, and as you can see, some of these elements should look very familiar to you, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, we have the resources, we have overview, we have associations, specialty groups. Some of these resources are grouped together. You have business resources, information, continuing education, and then you have these other items that all require 250 word summaries, all right? So that being said, let's get to it. The first thing I wanna do, remember every header has to have a summary. What you're gonna put here is your week three, assignment two, part A. And part A, let me get my Word document here. Okay, part A is this portion where you provided information, in-depth information about six different agencies that pertain to your type of um, industry, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do nothing more than cut and paste this whole document minus the references, because the references, of course, will go into the bibliography area, alphabetical order, and cited properly per MLA standards, okay? So all I'm doing is just going to uh, copy all this information, holding down the shift key now, I've got everything selected that I need selected. Copy it. And at this point, I can go ahead and close this out because I'm done with this particular document. And I'm just going to paste that under resources. There it is. There's your summary. Okay. There's your opening summary for your resource section. Now, let's go down. Let's go back to the next section, section, which is an overview. The overview portion is what you're going to provide about these organizations that you found, okay? So you're gonna write a 250 word summary about your overview, just like the executive summary. It is an overview of where the executive summary is of your whole paper. This is an overview of your associations, your specialty groups, your client resources, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this one requires a new 250 word summary. Now, the associations, for example, remember with each one of your sections here, 
you had to write a minimum of 250 word summary, which is to be pasted before your actual companies. So this is what you will copy and paste. along with the companies, copy it, and paste. Now you do not copy the header because you've already got the header right here, okay? So make sure that you don't do that. And remember to go back through and format your paper correctly. This should be double spaced, like so. And clearly there's this page gap here that I need to get rid of. And let's see. And what you can do, let me minimize this paper a little bit or resize it a little bit so you get to see the whole, the whole thing here. And down here you have what's called different views, okay? And when something like this happens, where you have this large gap, um, it's actually pretty easy to fix. All you have to do is click on the outline view, like so, okay? And you'll see that the reason for that is because there's a section break in there. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see it better, like so, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate this so that I can select it like so, just moving my cursor to the left and hitting delete. And again, I'll hit delete to get rid of the extra spacing. Now, if I go back to print layout view, you'll see that gap is gone. Okay, so everything's tightened up and everything looks good. So you're gonna follow this process for each one of these sections here. Okay, and when you get down to the continuing education, same thing, copy and paste your summary, put the name of the companies, but then each of these indeed will need a new 250 word summary. Then once you do that, all these references that you, um, that you have provided for your research, like all these here, they need to get fed in on your reference list and bibliography page. Now, when you get to this point, the reference list and bibliography should be on its own page. It should start on its own page. So at this point, you want to go in and you want to go in and, and choose insert, break, and choose page break. Once you do that, the reference list is where it needs to be. So now with your references, you're going to have to put them all in um, alphabetical order. And the one thing that you don't want to do, I notice that there's a couple of repeats here. So of course we don't need these. I'm going to get rid of them. But you set up your references as follows. Go ahead and highlight your reference, and you want to make sure that they are single spaced with a double space in between each one, but not only that, you want to go under Format Paragraph, and you'll see this dialog box, and this dialog box is the same for both a Mac and PC. So what you want to do is, under the, the special, you want to choose Hanging Indent. Okay, and once you do that, make sure your line spacing is set to single and say OK. OK, so the problem here is that it actually messed up the formatting, but this is all I need to do. I need to put my cursor at the beginning here and just hit the backspace. Same here. Okay, and remember, there's a double space in between each one of your, of your references, okay? So this is how they officially need to be set up. So each one of these would now go um, get fed into this. So you should have, um, in a lot of cases, your, 
business plan could end up to be about 60 pages long. Okay, you should have at least a minimum of three to four pages worth of references from the research from your marketing section to your assignment week three A, A2, um, along with any other research that you did within your business plan. Okay, once you get this done and you've gotten your whole paper completed, the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and save it per the assignment requirements and then you will turn it in to turnitin.com. By the time that you review this uh, video, I will have created a spot for your class. You will sign in using your school email and submit your paper once it is completed for week 5 A3. Okay, Once it is completed, once it is completely filled out, do not upload any incomplete projects to turn it in. Then, once you've done that, wait, wait a few minutes for your similarity score. If your similarity score is 10% or higher, you will need to review um, any of the errors that Turnitin found on your paper. Okay, once you fix those errors, there will be a spot in Turnitin for a revision. Turn it in, wait for your similarity score. Okay, and then at that point, after you've corrected your document, then you can turn around and turn it in for week six, assignment one, your final project. All right, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me, email me, post questions under the professor thread, um, and I'll be happy to help. So thank you so much.